Number 10. California Plane Wreckage A mysterious plane wreck may have just been discovered in Folsom Lake, California. This chilling discovery was made thanks to an underwater drone using new sonar mapping technology. The find was a total accident, with researchers shocked when they saw the shape of something that most certainly resembles an airplane at the very bottom of the lake. They believe this could be the wreckage of a four-seater plane that crashed back in 1965 and was never recovered. The plane that crashed was a Piper Comanche 250, and it happened on New Year's Day when the aircraft smashed head-on with another aircraft. The pilot's body was recovered soon after, but the search crews never could find the plane or the three passengers who were on board at the time of the incident. They were assumed dead and gone. Fifty years later, in 2014, search efforts were renewed to try and give the victims' families a bit of closure, but three full days of searching revealed nothing. It wasn't until a survey company was trying to map the depth and shape of the seafloor that they accidentally found what they believed to be the 1965 crash site. It's definitely a plane, it's definitely at the bottom of a lake, but researchers are still figuring out how in the world they're going to bring the plane back up to the surface. Number 9. Shape-Shifting Fish Scientists recently spotted one of the most mysterious and elusive animals anywhere in the deep sea. It's a fish that literally shapeshifts, and it was spotted thanks to scientists piloting a remotely operated submarine. The shapeshifting fish is known scientifically as a whale fish, and it was found swimming nonchalantly at about 66,000 feet, not far from Monterey Bay in California. It was one of the only times that scientists have ever seen this creature, which baffled the experts for over a century. The shape-shifting fish was first discovered in 1895 by a pair of scientists from the Smithsonian Institution. However, the fish was categorized as a few different animals throughout the next 100 years. The problem is that the fish changes shape dramatically as it moves through its life cycles. Scientists mistook each step of the fish's life cycle as an entirely different animal belonging to a different zoological family. When the fish is born, it's a scaleless larva thing that kind of looks like a tadpole. Then it turns into a fish. But depending on whether it's male or female, it looks very different. Males have scales and big noses, and they never eat even once for the rest of their life. Females, on the other hand, bloat and grow way larger than the males, resembling whales. They also turn bright orange. They look like two entirely different animals. Number 8. The Beer Shipwreck Dive technician and amateur treasure hunter Steve Hickman recently explored a vessel that had been rotting on the bottom of the ocean for over a hundred years. His goal was to get some beer. He dove down with a large bag, swam into the broken hold of the ancient vessel, and began filling his bag with preserved glass bottles of beer. There were dozens and even hundreds of them, rows of glass beer bottles mostly buried under sediment. But let's back it up a bit. This mysterious underwater vessel is the wreckage of the Wallachia, a ship that sank in 1895 off the coast of Scotland after it crashed into another vessel because of fog. The Wallachia had just left Glasgow, stocked to the brim with bottles of alcohol to be shipped across the world. All that alcohol ended up at the bottom of the sea, only to be recovered a hundred years later. The reason Steve Hickman is so interested in taking the bottles of beer, whiskey, and gin is that he and his colleagues are working to extract live yeast from ancient liquid to recreate the original brew. In other words, he's using the sunken beer bottles to recreate the recipe and once more brew beer that's been lost for centuries. Number 7. Croatia's Blue Cave The Blue Cave in Croatia is one of the most amazing natural geological phenomena ever discovered in the water. It's remarkable for one reason. The entire cave glows blue as if lit up by thousands of nightlights. And yes, it's entirely natural. The locals have known about the glowing cave for thousands of years, but it was the Austrian explorer Baron Eugene von Razanet Villiers who first described it after finding the place in 1884 on a diving expedition. An artificial entrance was blasted into the rock so that small boats could enter, carrying with them eager tourists. But other than the entrance, nothing about the cave is man-made at all. It was simply formed by waves crashing into the rock over hundreds of thousands of years. The reason the cave glows blue, while it may seem like magic, is actually thanks to the rays of sunlight hitting the surface of the ocean through an opening in the rock. The light then reflects off the limestone seabed. All these reflections create a brilliant blue, more like turquoise, as if you're standing in a mystic cave about to be greeted by some mermaids. Number 6. The New Atlantis Atlantis is a myth a legend invented by the Greek writer Plato sometime around 360 BC. This is 2,300 years ago, with all the details of Atlantis being laid out in a work of fiction. Plato described Atlantis as a utopian civilization founded by a demigod and then cursed by the rest of the gods for becoming too greedy. The gods then sent Atlantis tumbling into the ocean, where it's absolutely never been found because it probably never existed. The good news is that if you find yourself in Dubai sometime soon, you can visit the new city of Atlantis. In an extremely weird move, Dubai has constructed their very own underwater city of Atlantis. Well, it's actually the world's deepest dive pool. 
It just so happens to be so deep and so enormous that the designers built a mysterious ancient city at the bottom. The city is so big that there are 56 cameras installed so that nobody accidentally gets lost and drowns. Do you think there's an actual lost city of Atlantis out there somewhere? Where do you think it is? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. And let us know what other abandoned and amazing things you'd like to hear about in the comments below. Number 5. Giant Shark One of the biggest sharks ever seen by human eyes was just witnessed off the coast of New England. The shark was so big that some believe it could actually be a baby megalodon. The megalodon was the largest shark and fish that has ever lived on our planet, growing to a maximum of between 60 and 80 feet. This newest shark, while definitely massive, was not quite that big. Experts say it was only 26 feet long. And as much as we wish it was proof that megalodons still live among us, it was actually just a basking shark. The basking shark is the second largest shark species in the world. But despite its hulking size, the shark is actually quite friendly. It's nothing like the megalodon, which was the true definition of terror in the sea. Number 4. Eavesdropping Dolphins Scientists have just made a very weird water discovery, this time about dolphins, specifically the Risos dolphin, a species that can be found near just about every coastline in the world. They have bulging heads, white and gray coloring, and are recognizable all over the globe. They also make a series of strange noises to communicate with one another. To us, these noises sound like clicks and whistles. According to Charlotte Cure, a bioacoustics expert who knows a whole lot about dolphins, the clicks and whistles are used by dolphins to communicate directly with each other. But scientists have figured out that not only do dolphins communicate, they also eavesdrop. This revelation came after four years of studying in the field. Researchers parked their boats above where dolphins were playing and then recorded the noises that they picked up from other groups of dolphins. What they found is that dolphins can hear the conversations of other dolphins from quite far away. They then use what they learned eavesdropping to make important decisions. As an example, when the dolphins hear male dolphins in the area, most female dolphins and young dolphins will turn the other way and run. This is because male dolphins are known to harass females and bully other males. Number 3. Underwater Island A mysterious underwater island shaped like a bean was recently spotted in the Arabian Sea thanks to Google Maps. This is one of the more unusual water discoveries because nobody can figure out where the island came from or if it's even real. There's clearly a giant black spot just off the coast of the city of Kochi in India, but there shouldn't be. There's no artificial or natural structures in the area, and nobody knows of any construction project that's gone on there. Nonetheless, there's a giant bean-shaped island underwater. It's either a malfunction with the Google Earth technology, or there's something mysterious down there that nobody knows about yet. Some say it could be a crashed alien ship slowly rising to the surface, while others say it's just a giant mound of sand. Until somebody actually goes down there and looks, we just won't have any definitive answers. Number 2. Skeletons and a Pirate Ship Archaeologists in Cape Cod off the coast of Massachusetts have discovered a group of skeletons inside a vessel that sank in 1717 and killed just about every last person on board. This was the British pirate ship called the Wida, manned by 146 sailors when it was destroyed. It also had a small hoard of treasure on board. To this day, it's the only authenticated pirate wreckage on the planet. It was captained by James Bellamy, one of the richest pirates in pirate history. The captain, along with everyone except two of the members of the crew, went down with the ship after it got stuck in a storm. At the time, the ship was carrying treasure from an estimated 50 other ships that were captured and pillaged by James Bellamy's pirates. The wreckage was originally found in modern times in 1984. Thousands of pieces of treasure were brought up from the wreckage, but it was just recently that a team of underwater divers came across a complete skeleton and fragments of five other skeletons. It appears as though when the ship sank, these six individuals were crushed by the chunks of timber being ripped apart. Not only did the poor pirates have to drown in a storm, they were also crushed to death by their sinking ship. Not a great way to go. Number 1. Sunken Train A sunken train was found at the bottom of Lake Superior 106 years after it went off the rails, quite literally. The train was discovered near the small town of Schreiber in Ontario, on the Canadian side of the lake. Tom Crossman, an underwater recovery expert, was the one to make the find back in July. He found the full wreckage of the CPR-694 freight train that crashed in June of 1910. The train went off the rails because it hit a boulder that was lying on the track. It was one of the most violent derailments of all time, with the train plummeting over 60 feet into the lake, then slipping another 180 feet to the bottom. Three men were killed in the wreckage, and only one of their bodies was ever recovered. Unfortunately, the train is way too deep and way too heavy for it to ever be pulled out of the lake. Tom Crossman used a remotely operated vehicle to find and document the sunken wreckage. If anything, the locomotive's bell and whistle might be recovered and then donated to a local museum. 
but if not, this ancient piece of history will probably remain at the bottom of the lake for another 106 years. Number 10. Ancient Egyptian Ruins Space archaeologist Sarah Parchak, often called the Indiana Jones of low Earth orbit, recently discovered an incredible ancient Egyptian ruin using new satellite technology. Sarah employed remote sensing tools and satellite imagery to expose not one, but a whole collection of forgotten archaeological sites from lost cultures. Her area of expertise happens to be Egypt. To date, she's found no less than 3,000 ancient settlements, over a dozen pyramids and plenty of tombs, all within the confines of the ancient city of Tanis. Sarah was also the one who managed to identify the scope of looting that happened after the Arab Spring in 2011, finding dozens and dozens of plundered tombs using satellites. The thousands of settlements Sarah identified using satellite imagery have yet to be explored, never mind excavated, but the important part is knowing that they're there. Sarah has also found an old Roman harbor that archaeologists completely missed, as well as a new Viking site in Newfoundland, Canada. She identified what may be the second Viking settlement built in North America. And finally, Sarah was able to uncover a ceremonial platform in the old city of Petra, something that no professional excavator ever discovered, despite Petra being one of the most famous archaeological places in the world. As of right now, Sarah is working to fully map Peru, hoping to find even more lost cities and crumbling ruins from outer space. Number 9. The Loch Ness Monster As it turns out, the Loch Ness Monster may be so large that it can be seen from space. A shadowy form estimated to be over 100 feet 30 meters in length, boasting two massive flippers was spotted in the waters of Loch Ness, Scotland, all thanks to a satellite. The image cropped up a little while ago and scientists spent a full six months studying the thing, trying to get a hold on what they were seeing. Experts working with the official Loch Ness Monster fan club are positive this creature revealed in the satellite image is the Great Beast, especially since scientists seem unable to come up with any other logical answer. The president of the club, Gary Campbell, says they've looked seriously at all possibilities. The shape does kind of look like the wake from a boat, except that there are no boats in the lake. The best that anyone can tell is that the creature is underwater swimming south. Unless there's a secret submarine operating in Loch Ness, this object is almost certainly the legendary sea monster itself. You might be thinking, well, what about a log or a seal? These theories don't pan out either because of the shape of the creature in the image. It very clearly has a large head and two flippers. It doesn't look anything like a log, and seals don't usually grow to be over 100 feet, 30 meters in length. Number 8. The Ocean Glowing Satellites have found a part of the ocean that glows. It's no alien activity or nuclear power plant under the sea, though. It's far too big. Recent images taken by satellites have shown over a dozen incidences of bioluminescence in the ocean, with the smallest of them being over 100 times larger than the size of Manhattan. Believe it or not, this is not the first time someone has witnessed the ocean glowing as if a million glow sticks leaked into the waves. The Greeks wrote about the phenomenon and so did the Romans. Even Charles Darwin recorded seeing waves glowing luminescent when he was aboard the HMS Beagle on one particularly dark night. This was off the coast of South America with Darwin witnessing bright waves rolling as far as the eye could see. Thanks to new technology, scientists have finally been able to document bioluminescence in the ocean on a massive scale. The satellites, 500 miles, 800 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, took pictures of giant glowing patches of microorganisms that turned the sea bright shades of blue and green. According to Stephen D. Miller, a satellite specialist at the Colorado State University, the glowing is caused by trillions of small bacteria lighting up at the exact same time. Imagine billions of worms glowing bright blue on the surface of the ocean, except way smaller than ordinary worms. The bacteria do this to lure fish close to them so they can feed off their guts. Number 7. Prehistoric Cult Ancient monuments were found in the desert of Saudi Arabia back in the 1970s called Mustatils. They're so old that they predate the first pyramid constructed in Egypt and the erection of Stonehenge by over 2,000 years. These Mustatils were built during a long period of time stretching between 8,500 and 4,800 years ago, during what scientists call the Middle Holocene period. They cover an area of at least 77,000 square miles, 200,000 square kilometers in northern Arabia. But technology has come a long way since the 1970s. Recent scientists wanted to get a better understanding of these mysterious structures, so they used satellite imagery and helicopter flybys to study and identify over a thousand additional mustatils spread throughout the desert. The project was led by a research team from the University of Western Australia who have actually come up with a theory as to what the structures are. The researchers say these strange stone structures were built by a prehistoric cattle cult. 
This is in part because archaeologists on the ground found the remains of animals inside the structures, things like cow bones and cow skulls. These animals may have been offered up to the gods as sacrifices. Archaeologist Hugh Thomas says the structures were almost certainly used for ritual purposes during the Neolithic era. However, the big mystery is that scientists don't know what the cattle cult wanted, what gods they worshipped, or what logic they saw in slaughtering their cows to appease their unknown gods. Number 6. Human Ancestors An ancient human ancestor from 2 million years ago has been discovered, all thanks to Google Earth. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist, was the one who directed researchers to the fossils of the prehistoric human inside of the Malapa Caves near Johannesburg. He was using Google Earth to survey caves in the region when he learned how to identify caves of interest. He marked down over 500 previously unexplored caves in the area, and it was within one of these caves that the new discovery of the homonym Australopithecus sebdia was found. Lee was telling the archaeologists where to go on the ground, and it was thanks to his efforts that they made the discovery so quickly. But what about this new type of homonym? Approximately 130 bones belonging to a pair of youngsters were found hidden inside the cave system. Dr. Berger claims this new type of homonym is a transitional species, meaning that it existed sometime between the African ape man and Homo habilis, the latter of which came before the Homo erectus. In other words, the fossils inside the cave belonged to the missing link, a previously undocumented species that existed between apes and humans. Researchers found that the creature had a very small brain, though its brain was shaped more like a human's than a monkey's. Do you think archaeologists will find more bones as they keep exploring the caves? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to American Eye for more awesome videos just like this one. Number 5. Antarctic Face A massive face has been discovered on the surface of Antarctica thanks to Google Earth. The face seems to be a carving potentially made thousands or even millions of years ago. The carving resembles an alien face pushing up through the snow. It's quite distinct as well with a protruding forehead, thin slits for eyes, a small nose, and an open mouth. The carving is undoubtedly humanoid, though it may not have been made to look like a person, but rather an extraterrestrial. Some conspiracy theorists believe the carving was either left behind by an ancient civilization that dwelled in Antarctica, or even by an alien race that had once lived on the icy continent. Even more amazing is that the face can still be seen on Google Maps today. It hasn't disappeared, suggesting it's not simply some accidental formation of snow and ice. But the area around the face is still obscured by the snow. There could be even more monuments related to the giant face. The problem is that the carving is in an extremely remote part of Antarctica where researchers are probably not going to explore anytime soon. We're going to have to wait until a team of scientists actually goes to take a look or until the ice melts and satellite images reveal the rest of this mysterious megastructure. Number 4. Lost Pyramid Egyptologists recently confirmed that there could be two pyramid complexes never before explored. This comes after satellite images from Google Earth revealed the shapes of lost pyramids in the middle of the Egyptian desert. One of these pyramids appears to be about 140 feet, 40 meters in width, and four distinct sides. From the air, it obviously looks like a pyramid. The second pyramid is a little different. It's a collection of mounds with a triangular-shaped plateau at the top. This means that unlike most pyramids, it's flat instead of pointy at the top. Nobody knows if these are indeed real pyramids or simply shapes made by the desert sands. The one to discover these mysterious pyramids is Angela Michael, a satellite researcher from North Carolina who's been hunting for mysterious archaeological sites on Google Earth for the last decade. Scientists are currently waiting to use special infrared satellite technology to confirm the existence of pyramids beneath the sand before they send their own researchers to do any excavations. If these do prove to be pyramids, they could reveal a previously unknown piece of Egyptian history. This could be one of the most important discoveries in Egypt since the uncovering of King Tut's tomb. But at the same time, there could also be nothing there except dirt. This is the challenge that comes with doing satellite research. Sometimes things aren't always what they appear when looking at them from space. Number 3. Prehistoric Huts An incredible archaeological site was discovered on the side of a Welsh mountain thanks to researcher Ian Fewings, who had originally been looking for a firing range from World War I. He realized there was something not quite right about the farmland on the mountain and brought this team of archaeologists out to investigate. They were quick to discover a series of prehistoric huts that were likely used from between the Neolithic era to the Bronze Age. The local Aberystruth Archaeological Society spent roughly six weeks excavating the mysterious dwellings to try and decipher what they could about the ancient inhabitants. Ian says they've discovered a lot about how tribes of hunter-gatherers spent their days in the United Kingdom thousands of years ago. One of the most interesting aspects of the prehistoric huts is that they were not meant to be permanent dwellings. Instead, they were seasonal camps where people lived while hunting wild game in the region. 
They likely followed herds of red deer up into the mountains and then hunted them during the spring. Then in the autumn, after the summer heat, they would seek warmer ground and take what meat they could with them. These seasonal hunting shacks may have been used by primitive people for thousands of years. Archaeologists have also discovered a mysterious burial cairn, small collection of flint tools, and proof that the site was likely first used about 6,000 years before today. Number 2. Atlantis The lost city of Atlantis may have just been found on the coast of Spain thanks to satellite technology. A team of researchers from the United States analyzed satellite images of what they suspect could be the submerged city slightly north of Cadiz. The legendary city of Atlantis they now believe was probably wiped out by a tsunami thousands of years ago and is still lost beneath the waves. Richard Freund, a professor at the University of Hartford, said Atlantis was probably located just along the shores of Spain. With the tsunami that destroyed the city wiping out about 60 miles, 100 kilometers of the land and pulling a gigantic piece of earth into the sea. Unfortunately, archaeologists haven't actually gone diving in the area yet to check and see if the ruins are real. The satellite images simply show the shape of something that could be a city. However, the researchers found evidence of memorial cities that could have been built by the survivors of the destruction of Atlantis. Richard says that the Atlanteans who managed to escape fled slightly inland and then built new cities, and these potential cities have been identified in satellite images just off the coast. The reason archaeologists haven't identified these mysterious memorial cities before is that the ruins are buried. It's only because of the satellite images that researchers could identify the shape of the cities, even though the structures have long since been destroyed. Number 1. The Murmansk The Murmansk is a Russian cruiser that once struck fear into the hearts of NATO admirals. It was a powerful machine, the star of the Soviet Navy's northern fleet. At least it was until it turned into an embarrassment when it got trapped on a Norwegian fjord back in the 1990s. The warship was unable to be saved and became an eyesore off the Norwegian coast, where it remained an abandoned piece of Soviet technology. The ship crashed in 1994 and was completely forgotten until 2009, when financing was finally gathered to get the ship disassembled. The decision was made to take the thing apart piece by piece. Before the ship was broken apart and taken away, there were some pretty cool satellite images taken of the wreckage. It almost looked like a big steel monster prowling beside the cliffs of Norway. The salvage team had to build an artificial dock around the structure and then rip it apart slowly, finally finishing the project in 2013. Number 10. Japanese Midget Submarine All over the world there are relics of war machines from World War II rusting away, and some of the most insane finds are in remote waters or jungles of the South Pacific. There is a rare Japanese Type A midget submarine abandoned on Kiska Island. This mysterious submarine was once a secret weapon deployed by the Japanese in World War II. This particular vehicle was brought to the island in 1942, though it was never able to see any action. The whole point of the midget submarine was that the two men squeezed into its hull, tracked down an enemy vessel, and then fired miniature torpedoes at it from point-blank range. It was the most claustrophobic vehicle a person could drive in World War II. It also had a shockingly low survivability rating. Japanese soldiers who drove the midget submarines were acutely aware that they could die at just about any minute. Kiska Island was a weird place to deploy submarines from. These things ran on battery power and almost always needed to be rescued by another ship once their batteries ran out. Several midget submarines were used at the attack on Pearl Harbor, but these ones were dumped on Kiska Island and then abandoned after the Japanese realized they were about to lose the war. The sub is in rough shape, rusting quite badly and almost gone after over 70 years of being forgotten. Number 9. Dinosaur Eggs Yes, it's possible that this find could spark a real-life Jurassic Park if scientists aren't careful. A clutch of dinosaur eggs was recently discovered by paleontologists in western Portugal during investigations at the Lorena Formation. This formation is known for being rich in Jurassic dinosaur nesting sites. Experts say 150 million years ago, the area was a wetland that experienced heavy monsoon rains, making it the perfect place for nesting bird-like dinos. But what's strange is that the nest was abandoned mysteriously and the eggs were left vulnerable before somehow getting fossilized. These eggs weren't found whole, but rather shattered into eggshells with no remaining dinosaur embryos inside. Still, researchers were able to analyze the size and texture of the eggshells. This helped them determine that the eggs had belonged to a Torvosaurus, a type of bipedal dinosaur that grew to be roughly 36 feet, 11 meters tall. As for their DNA, it's probably not complete enough to truly resurrect the creatures, but with more advanced technology, it's possible that someday genetic engineers will be able to use these eggs to spawn new dinosaur breeds. The big mystery here is trying to figure out why the dinosaur abandoned the nest of eggs. Scientists can't figure out whether the carnivorous creature was a neglectful parent 
or if they simply made nests and then abandoned the eggs to fend for themselves. Either way, some kind of event, likely a flood, covered the eggshells suddenly and kept them preserved as fossils. Number 8. Homo erectus tools Inside an abandoned gold mine in the Sahara Desert, archaeologists working with the University of Rocklaw discovered a small hoard of tools likely used by ancient human ancestors. These ancestors are known as Homo erectus, who became the most advanced hominid species a few hundred thousand years ago. Their tools consisted of cleavers and very primitive hand axes. The researchers were able to use a method called optically stimulated luminescence to determine the age of the tools, dating them back to about 390,000 years ago. However, the researchers say also that these types of tools were probably used as far back as 700,000 years ago. As you can clearly tell, the transition from primitive stone axes to iron tools took almost a million years for humans to complete. What's really interesting is that the tools were found in an abandoned mine that had been carved crudely out of the ground during the African gold rush. But hundreds of thousands of years before the mine was abandoned, this may have been a prehistoric workshop where expert Homo erectus craftsmen made stone tools. Then at some point, the prehistoric people abandoned the site and moved on to somewhere else. And yet there might still be troves of tools and gold hidden under the sands of the Sahara, waiting for explorers to uncover them. Would you go exploring and hunt for the treasure out there? Number 7. The Abandoned Sphinx A mysterious sphinx allegedly abandoned by the grandfather of King Tut has been found in Egypt. The sphinx is interesting because it has the head of a ram instead of the head of a human, like the one at Giza has. It's almost 3,000 years old and nearly 12 feet. Archaeologists found it inside of a quarry of debris that had been discarded during the Roman occupation of Egypt around 2,000 years before today. In other words, the sphinx had been part of a garbage dump created by the Romans. There were also stone fragments with hieroglyphics on them found in the rubble, as well as a coiled cobra that had once been used as a headdress to crown the sphinx. When it was first carved, it would have been a truly fascinating monument to behold. According to Maria Nilsson, an archaeologist from Sweden, the Sphinx may have been abandoned after the pharaoh died and the sculptures he had commissioned were cancelled. The date of the Sphinx suggests it was carved at the exact end of King Amenhotep III's reign. With him gone, the sculptors just abandoned work on their masterpieces. When the Romans came later, they threw them in the trash. Number 6. Human Remains At an abandoned house in the United Kingdom, in Liverpool to be exact, something gruesome and horrifying was discovered mysterious human remains were found abandoned in a jar inside the creepy house. According to the local police, the authorities were made aware of a suspicious circumstance at the unoccupied address. It's not clear who exactly found the jar full of human body parts, though it was probably an urban explorer. The person probably thought it would be fun to check out the abandoned property. Well, finding pickled human pieces was probably not what the individual had in mind. This happened in August of 2021, so police have yet to announce the exact details of the human pieces. They won't even divulge why the house was abandoned or who left it in such terrible shape. We still don't know if the human remains came from a murder victim, from a science experiment, or from something even more sinister that you don't want to imagine. What do you think was going on in this house? What kind of sick individual puts human body parts in a jar anyway? Was this part of some sadistic ritual or something else? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below and if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. World War II Bunker During the depths of World War II, soldiers made use of anything they could in order to protect themselves and create defensive bunkers. A forgotten bunker from World War II was found by an archaeologist hiding inside the broken ruins of an old Roman fortress. The fortress is on the Channel Island in the UK. It's one of the best preserved fortresses of its kind, located just north of Normandy in France, kind of between the British Isle and the European mainland. Back during World War II, Hitler had ordered the occupation of the island. Nazis built bases, they turned the island into a fortified war castle, and they even built a small concentration camp to keep the war machine running. One of their bunkers was built inside of the old Roman fortress. After the war ended, most of the bunkers and other Nazi constructs were abandoned and destroyed. However, nobody thought to look inside the ancient Roman fortress. It wasn't until a charity organization called Dig Alderney volunteered to help with some summer excavations that they uncovered the mysterious abandoned bunker. The Nazis had incorporated their own technologies with the Roman fortress, using its walls to strengthen the outpost and conducting their business deep in the fort's basement. Number 4. Walt Disney's Personal Plane Believe it or not, the personal airplane of Walt Disney has been sitting abandoned at Disney World for years. Disney World is actually host to a lot of strange abandoned things, from an abandoned airport to an entire water park that's been sealed off and left to rot. But the personal plane of Mr. Disney himself has to be one of the strangest. 
The aircraft is a Grumman G159 Gulfstream 1, which the famous creator of all things family once used to travel between Burbank and Orlando. It's currently parked in an area near Disney's Animal Kingdom, cordoned off by a small metal fence. The inside of the plane has been gutted, there are absolutely no plans to restore it, and even though the option is out there, museums refuse to take the old piece of junk. It was parked there just after Disney died, when he could no longer use it, and nobody's dared touch it since. Speak up in the comments below if you think they should restore the plane and put it on display in Disney World. Number 3. Abandoned Ancient City Among the dozens of abandoned ancient cities found in Central America by modern scientists, this one has to be one of the strangest. Scientists have been wondering for years what caused the sudden abandonment of the ancient Mesoamerican city of Cantona. According to Live Science, this place had a population of around 90,000 people, but was abruptly deserted around the year 900. It's located in modern Mexico and was rediscovered by archaeologists just a few years ago. And in case you were wondering, it was not the Maya or the Aztec who lived here. It was a civilization that predates the Aztecs by at least 400 years. After doing some geological surveys in the area, scientists came to the conclusion that the mysterious city was abandoned following a drought that lasted for 650 years. The brutal lack of rain lasted from between 200 BC and 1300 AD. Archaeologists say the population spiked during the earliest part of the dry period, but then the wilting of crops combined with political turmoil drove people out of the fortified city until it was completely empty. Number 2. Leftover Skeleton Yet another grotesque discovery was made recently in an abandoned home, this time in Detroit. Quincy Norman was the one to make the horrifying find. Quincy works for a company contracted by the Detroit Land Bank to look through abandoned houses. He'd been to this particular house several times before he noticed that there was a skeleton left over on the couch in the living room. He couldn't tell if it was the skeleton of a man or a woman, how long the person had been dead, or even how they died. The second he realized he was standing in the room with an abandoned corpse, he ran out of the house, locked the door, and called the police. According to the neighbors, the house had been abandoned for at least two years. Nobody had seen or heard anything suspicious from the rapidly decaying piece of property. The police figure the dead person must have been a squatter who took a nap on the couch and died in his sleep. Judging by the fact that he was a skeleton by the time he was found, he'd probably been there ever since the home was first abandoned. That's the kind of story that really makes your skin crawl. It just makes you hope that they fully demolished the property and started from scratch, doesn't it? Number 1. Al Capone's Moonshine Archaeologists in South Carolina have made the bizarre discovery of a moonshine still from the 1920s in the middle of the forest. It happened when researchers were excavating a part of the forest known locally as the Hellhole Swamp. They came across the abandoned moonshine still completely by accident. According to one of the researchers, a graduate student from the University of Tennessee named Catherine Parker, the still was likely used by notorious criminals associated with Al Capone, the legendary gangster. Further investigation revealed that the still was part of a larger liquor distillery that had probably been abandoned after Prohibition came to an end and liquor was made legal once more in the United States. It was used to produce some of the nastiest alcohol ever made, shipped out of South Carolina to other states. It may even have been used after Prohibition was abolished in 1933, seeing as the taxes on liquor in South Carolina made brewing your own booze a lot more affordable than buying it from the store. Would you dare drink Al Capone's moonshine? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back again soon for another shocking video right here on American Eye.